All right, so we're going to show you a couple activities today. Um, this first one is kind of like a mini lesson, a mini grammar lesson about conditional sentences. Um, so this is an EDB file, one that I prepared beforehand. Um, and I, we just want to show you a few things. Uh, uh, for example, in this lesson, uh, I want to start with a video. So if I go to the cloud over here, I can open that up and you'll see I have this video preloaded. We'll click that. It will pop onto the screen. I can hit play or I can resize it, make it louder or quieter, change the volume there. So let's go ahead and make it full screen. And it'll start playing here. Let's jump ahead a little bit. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you a house. I would buy you a house. All right, so this is a, a little song. <laughs> um, and in this song, you hear a conditional sentence. It's if I had a million dollars, I would ba 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 boo. So uh, I want to ask Phyllis. What is one thing that the singer would do if he had a million dollars? I would buy you a house. Yeah, I would buy you a house. So I can hit the typing, whoop, maybe fill in, buy you a house. Okay, he would buy a house if he had a million dollars. Uh, and this box, I just I created an image um, in PowerPoint. I just copied and pasted it into the EDB, and I unlocked it, so now I can move it around. So I can slide it down slowly as students give me different answers from the song, things they heard from the song. Or I can delete it, boom, and it's gone. This second question here, if I had a million dollars, then I would. This is a conditional sentence, but do you know, is it a type 1 or a type 2 conditional sentence? Do you know, Phyllis? Uh, what is type 1 and what is type 2? Okay, good. So since Phyllis doesn't know, now I as a teacher know, okay, she needs to learn about these two types of conditional sentences. So I can scroll down on this EDB file. Uh, first, let's review what is a conditional sentence. They have two things. They have an if clause here. And uh, let me change colors for this. And a main clause. All right. So, uh, for example, this sentence has an if clause, if I understand conditionals. And a main clause, my teacher will be happy. Okay. So it's uh, something that's possible if something was different. Um, so, Phyllis, can you read this sentence for me, please? If I eat a whole pizza, I will be sick. Very good. If I eat a whole pizza, I will be sick. So, uh, Phyllis, here I will give you authority by clicking this crown. Can you circle the picture which you think uh, corresponds to this sentence? This one. You think she's going to eat the whole pizza? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why not this one? It's another pizza. <laughs> really? Do you think yeah. it is? Do you think it is sexy? No, <laughs> I think crazy. I think it's this one because <laughs> she will be sick, right? If she eats the whole pizza. But anyways, where is the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it's already inside. She already ate it. So <laughs> uh, this is a conditional sentence. If and then what will happen? So let's look at type one conditionals real quick. These conditionals are when something is very likely. To happen okay so the if okay. the if part is true it's very likely that something will happen okay. so let's look here if plus the simple present here's the simple present then the simple future will be simple future yeah. all right so I have this example if I don't finish this demo class my boss will be furious okay so if I don't, this is the simple, my boss will be furious. This is a very likely thing. Okay, that's type one. So Phyllis, okay. what does this uh, if clause say here? If I say that, take the pizza picture again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you want to finish uh, this? I will eat it. <laughs> you will eat it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> good, good. I will give you one trophy. For your original answer, you could also uh, 
She could also use this tool here to move these boxes around because they're unlocked. So maybe she picks this answer or picks this answer. Yeah. So this is one way you can make, yeah, maybe this is one way you can make uh, EDB files. You can have little blanks and then the students can move things around to fill in the blank or they can have their own answer. All right, nice work, Phyllis. So that's type one. Let's go to type two down here. Scroll down. All right. This is something that is uh, more imaginative. It's not very realistic. Okay, and for this one, you use the simple past would and the base form verb. All right, so here's an example. This is just me imagining. What if? It's hypothetical. If I learned how to read, this class would be easier. All right, so let's assume Paul cannot read. I cannot read. And like, hmm, if I learned how to read, this would be easier. Okay, it's not super likely. So here's an activity you can do. You can use the dice to roll and get a sentence tag, an if clause. Number four, if I had a jetpack. Do you know what a jetpack is? It's like a backpack no. and you push a button, okay. pff, you can fly. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So if I had a jetpack, then... I would never be late for work. <laughs> if I had a jetpack, no. I would no, never. You will never come back to work. That's probably true. I would just fly everywhere. No, <laughs> I, I would never ride the subway. That's for sure. Ugh. Okay. Yes. So, Phyllis, can you roll the die? Yes. Oh, six. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we all work together, mm, it would be more efficient. It would be more efficient. Very good. So would plus base form verb be. Yeah, would be more efficient. Yeah. Or maybe we could uh, do something amazing. If we all work together, we could stop global warming. Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Yeah, but that's not going to happen, right? So th this is not a very likely. Everybody working together, eh, not very likely. All right. So that's type two. Simple pass would this. All right, so here's another example of a simple game you could play with the EDB file. This is just tic-tac-toe. Um, we have a little reminder here of what type 1 and type 2 activity, or uh, what type 1 and type 2 conditionals are. Uh, so, uh, Phyllis, if you are X and you want to go first, you can go ahead and uh, move an X over. Very good. So this is over a type 2. Can you give me an example of a type 2 conditional? If I were a boy. If I were a boy, I would go to. I would, yeah, I would be a great husband. Oh, you know that's very funny. That's like that Beyonce song, right? If I were a right. boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a type two conditional. Good. All right. And uh, if I want to be O, uh, you took the good one. I'll go here. So I'll do a type one, uh, simple present and future. So I should say. Uh, if I, if I, <laughs> no, that's a type two. If I don't sleep, I will, mm, I will start dreaming as I walk, right? I think so. Okay. If you don't sleep, you you will, your mind will, my mind will shut down. Yeah, if has I your, don't sleep. Your boss know that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right, so this is a simple example of how you can do a, a mini grammar lesson uh, with only an EDB file and, uh, of course, the video in the, in the beginning. Um, so uh, we're going to do a couple more videos like this. And if you have any questions, as always, just ask. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.